Eliminating folk psychology. Let's now look at another concrete example of the fundamentalist reductive approach. Paul Churchland's insistence that folk psychology cannot be integrated into the emerging worldview of neuroscience, but must rather be completely eliminated. His basic argument is that folk psychology is simply a wrong and inadequate theory, like demonic possession in medieval medicine or crystal spheres supporting the stars in medieval cosmology. It has to be abolished before any real scientific progress can be made on mind and consciousness. Looking at it as a theory, Churchland says that folk psychology has a stagnant and degenerating research program. And he says that folk psychology has made no progress since the Greeks. He also claims that folk psychology as a theory fails very significantly to explain a large number of phenomena in the realm of mind and consciousness. For example, folk psychology fails to explain mental illness, imagination, differences between individuals in intelligence, and the nature of sleep and memory. Also, learning. And even such basic skills as catching a ball and constructing a three dimensional model of the world from the two dimensional images which impact on the retina. The reductionist tendency in neuroscience, which is still probably the majority view in the field, led to the conclusion. That the theory and concepts of folk psychology will be eliminated and replaced by neuroscience terms. At the extreme, Churchland, for example, predicts that neuroscience terms will entirely replace folk psychological terms in everyday discourse. This fundamentalist position is illustrated by this quotation from David Rose quote, Eliminativism involves the removal of any idea of the mind, replacing it with ideas from the theory of neuroscience, couched in terms of brain states and neurophysiology. So instead of saying, I hate you, you would say something like, Oh, you make cells fire in my left ventromedial amygdala. Instead of saying, I'm seeing red, you'd say, My long wave cones are overactive relative to my middle wave cones. Instead of saying, Maggie is insane. You would say Maggie has excess dopamine D2 receptors in her mesolimbic system, and so on. We would learn a new vocabulary and a new interpretation of our minds in terms of neuroscience that would eventually replace our folk psychological terminology and provide us with a more accurate understanding. End quote. Rose Consciousness, 2006. Interestingly, many psychoanalytic and psychiatric terms, such as projection, complex, and paranoid, have entered everyday speech. But that's probably because they fit in with underlying folk psychological concepts much better. Than do neuroscience terms.